welcome back students now let us start off with the analysis of group 3 acid basic radicals so till now we have seen zero group we have seen first group we have seen second group let us see the flow chart for this so when i speak about group 3 basic radicals what are they what are the cations which are present you have mn plus 2 here you have fe plus 2 you have fe plus 3 you have cobalt plus 2 you have nickel plus 2 you have aluminium plus 3 chromium plus 3 and zinc plus 2 so so many cations are present here uh, the group reagent whatever you are adding right the first for group first group reagent was dilute hcl the second group uh, reagent is h2s now the third group reagent is ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride right so what we'll do we'll take this we'll take the uh, salt solution of this of the salt means uh, not salt don't take let us take salt and first what will you do you will add few drops of concentrated nitric acid okay what you do take salt let us write here take salt and add concentrated nitric acid then what will you do you will boil the solution and then add ammonium chloride which is a group reagent and then add one more group reagent ammonium hydroxide slowly so this is the first step which you have to do when you're testing for group 3 basic radicals so when you add these what observation what do you see basically you will get if different different cations are present we have different different colors what are they if manganese is present when you add these if manganese is present it is colorless suppose if the salt if you get fe oh ferric hydroxide this is a solid it will be pale green in color after adding suppose FeOH taken thrice get a reddish brown okay. suppose if this complex is present with cobalt cation then you you'll get a tan color means a dark color suppose if you get nickel as one of the cation you will get dark blue suppose if aluminium hydroxide aluminium cation aluminium hydroxide is aluminium is there then you get a white ppt suppose if chromium hydroxide is there you get gray green ppt suppose if you have zinc in the particular salt and H3 taken four times plus two, you get colorless. So hope this is clear, students. So <coughs> these are the different tests. These are the different uh, colors of the cations which your examiner may ask you. So please go through the colors. Any of these may be present. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to take all these and we will uh, try to introduce. So first of all. I have to test for individual thing here first procedure what is that we'll see then we'll go further to these particular precipitates whatever I have formed right so I'll be prov I'll be doing the further tests let us assume in that particular uh, yes one if this if we OH taken twice is there okay to this what I'll do, I'll take these combinations, all of these, I'll be introducing, I'm writing all, I'll be taking MNS, Fe, sorry, this is manganese sulfide only, then ferrous, uh, FES, Fe2, S2, it's not plus, this is comma, cobalt sulfide, nickel sulfide, aluminium hydroxide, chromium hydroxide and zinc sulfide what i'll do i'll be introducing to this 12 molar hcl 
what will happen this 12 molar HCl when you add just see two things first is you will be getting a PPT of MN it, PPT which may contain MN plus 2 Fe plus 2 COS NIS Al plus 3 chromium plus 3 and zinc what is the color of this of uh, COS and NIS these two are black in color now the remaining solution whatever is there now I'm again saying suppose if this is not there the filtrate whatever is there this one if this is not there you will save the filtrate if not if not if this is not there you will save the filtrate now this is the precipitate this is the filtrate you will save the uh, filtrate for which group analysis for fourth group save the filtrate for group four you are going to take this and you will be introducing to this what 15m HNO3 here what happens this again so get separated you will this, this comes out as sulfur s you can discard this and what is left the leftover cations mn plus 2 fe plus 2 cobalt plus 2 i'm copying the same here the nickel plus 2 al plus 3 cr plus 3 and zn plus 2 To these ions now I will be adding sodium hydroxide and water and boil whatever is there. So what will I do to the same ions I will be adding how much 6 molar NaOH and 3% hydrogen peroxide and you boil. Then you, you will get separation of ions here separation of ions on one side when you add sodium hydroxide you will be getting a black PPT of manganese dioxide solid which is black or you will be getting Fe OH taken thrice which is reddish brown in color. You may also get means if the particular cation is present if you get a black PPT <coughs> there it is cobalt. If you get a green color PPT green color ppt then it is nickel suppose on the other side if you get a white color ppt this is aluminium cation if you get an yellow color ppt it is chromium cation if you get a colorless ppt colorless then zinc may be present in that hope students it is clear i'm going step by step carefully don't get confused flow chart is easy for you to learn right done now i'm at this stage now what will i do i have to do the individual test for all these done so individual test and then i'll come to the confirmation okay this particular cation is present with the ppts so when I have to do the manganese means manganese confirmatory test means because I have already got the PPT here I can start doing but here it is in the form of oxide form so basic test what what will be testing here manganese comes under fourth group also correct here most important we are doing group 3 radicals isn't it so in group 3 radicals the most important thing, thing the cations are Fe plus 2 3 Al plus 3 Cr plus 3 for your grade 12. So let us do the confirmatory test of these. Then now let us start with the confirmatory test. Now when I take <coughs> the first confirmatory test so I will be taking the precipitates so I will be doing confirmatory test so what is the first one i told you the important is fe plus 2 al plus 3 and cr plus 3 when i have to take the first uh, cation 
what I'll do? I'll be taking Fe plus 3, that is ferric hydroxide. I'll be dissolving this precipitate. What is the color of uh, ferric hydroxide we have got, right? So, what is it right here? Ferric hydroxide, reddish brown PPT. I'll be taking that. This ferric hydroxide, reddish brown PPT, I'll be um, dissolving ferric hydroxide precipitate in dilute HCl. I'll be adding dilute HCl to this. Then, what do I get? When I add dilute HCl, two things you can uh, remember. That dilute HCl, first one, it's going to form ferric chloride. Done. Now, you can divide the solution again into three parts. This. The same ferric chloride, I can further take it and take to the first one. You are going to add potassium ferrocyanide K4 Fe Cn6. Then to one more, I will be adding K6. Next, I will be adding K3 Fe Cn6. Right, these three in you have to add it to ferric chloride. What what will we get? We'll see. In the first reaction, when I add FeCl3, now when now to this FeCl3 form, when I add <coughs> K4 FeCl6, I'll be getting a complex which is called Persian blue. This is the wave equation they'll ask you what is Persian blue. So, FeCl3, when you add it potassium ferrocyanide, it's going to form a complex Fe4 Fe2 taken 6 thrice. This is 4, this is 2. This is called Persian blue and KCl. Right? We have to balance this is 12. This is 3, this is 4, this is Persian blue in color. The second part, let me take and add this to the second part. So, if I take, if you see in 3, I am adding, this again forms a complex and the color of this is red color precipitate. This is a red color PPT. The leftover is KCl. The third part, what will I do? FeCl3, I will be adding K3 FeCl6. You will be getting a brown color complex. This is brown color. And KCl. So, these are the test for Fe plus 3. Suppose if we have to test for aluminium, simple test. Let us see aluminium basically confirmatory test for aluminium. Confirmatory test for aluminium. What will you do? Aluminium hydroxide, what color did we get? <coughs> In a, sorry. When we have taken aluminum hydroxide here in this paper, right, we have got aluminum hydroxide white in color. Correct? So, this white PPT I am going to take. So, I am taking that aluminum hydroxide, I am going to take that white PPT. To this white PPT, what will I be doing? Dissolve this white PPT in dilute HCl. First, what you do? You dissolve in, dissolve white PPT in dilute HCl. Then what will you do? Followed by dissolving in sodium hydroxide. Okay. Then in NUH. 
what do we get we get aluminium hydroxide it's going to combine with NaOH and it's going to form NaAlO2 what is this this is sodium meta aluminate and water so two this is one step this is let us take one first one in the second one what you can do I can uh, take the same sodium uh, meta aluminate and you can add ammonium chloride to this right let's see I can take aluminium chloride sorry ammonium chloride I can take sodium same to the same test tube meta aluminate water and once you heat it you will be getting a white color PPT of aluminium hydroxide white PPT plus ammonia so this confirms the presence of aluminium so these two easy first one with diluted cl then sodium hydroxide to this white ppt what um, the sodium metal aluminate you take you add ammonium chloride so hcl sodium hydroxide ammonium chloride finally you get white ppt of aluminium next one more we'll be testing with uh, we'll be doing the confirmatory test for chromium so confirmatory test for co chromium cr plus 3 what is the confirmatory test so basically chromium ion what do we do we said chromium hydroxide again go back to the page chromium uh, this chromate ion yellow in color so to this uh, means if you take chromium green precipitate also you get so this green precipitate of cr plus 3 is insoluble in sodium hydroxide okay so but when you add bromine water to that it forms an yellow colored solution once again again I'm saying chromium hydroxide whatever is there which has formed but this green in color isn't it if you directly add sodium hydroxide it will be insoluble so what you should do you have to first take that bromine water right then the oxygen which is released by that then you'll add to this what is the first step so this is step two step one is bromine water it's going to release hbr plus nascent oxygen now this nascent oxygen in the presence of this it combines with i'm directly in the balancing because it is easy for us it's been doing so many reactions so oxygen you get sodium chromate this is an yellow solution plus water when you balance this sodium is 4 chromium is 2 this is again 2 so you get an yellow ppt this is one way and the second way and take the same sodium chromate and I'll be adding lead acetate to this. This in the presence of acetic acid. What will it form? It forms lead chromate plus CH3COONA. So, what is the color of this? This is yellow ppt and yeah. so this yellow ppt confirms the presence of lead so these are your group 3 cation students and confirmatory tests and importantly i'll meet you again with the next group that is group 4 cations what are the cations present nickel cobalt manganese and zinc thank you for watching students